and thou shall become an astonishment. We will become an astonishment. Now we become the drug dealer. We, we are the stereo, as black men, we are the stereotype for drug dealers, homosexuals. We are the stereotype for deadbeat dads. We become an astonishment unto the whole world. Anything negative, the black man stands up front and center for that stereotype. The black woman, the Hispanic woman, Native American woman, they have become the face of human sex trafficking, prostitution, being promiscuous, baby mamas, all of it. That is a curse that has come upon our people. We, we are the faces that influence evil when we don't listen to God. I want you to stay. Ja, real quick. Ja. Ja. Real quick, before you leave, I want you to hear this real quick. Get Jeremiah 422. Because you brought up slavery. When they beat us, what were they beating out of us, Ja? What did we become after they beat it out of us, Ja? What were they beating out of us? They were beating out of us our heritage, our culture, our value. And you, while you were over there staring off into space, we were trying to pour your culture back into you, but just, and this is why the scriptures say you can look at somebody and tell where their mind is. Your mind is in the same depression that they beat into us in slavery. That's why you can't figure out why it's important to know who you are. That's why you're not paying attention to it. And guess what? It is a grand design to keep a 15 year old just like you in that same stupor. Get Jeremiah, you got that Jeremiah 4 and 22? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 uh -huh. For my people God is talking to you job That's why the phone rings when God is talking to his people Because Satan is on the other line That spiritual demon Satan is on the other line Trying to defer you from learning your nationality Nowhere else outside of the Bible is teaching you your importance job But TV is teaching you how to destroy yourself That's beating your culture out of you So God is saying my children are what? It's foolish It's foolish They have not known me we don't know who our God is. Oh, John, who's your God? What does he look like? I don't know. You don't know. So is the Bible correct? Yes, it is. We've become foolish. We don't. They are sottish children. What does the word sottish mean, John? You in middle school, uh, you in high school. So you, you, you done been through all the books just about. What does sottish mean, John? You don't read books. That's the problem. You don't know what books actually pertain to you, so you choose not to read any of them. Guess what, John? We're opening the book to you right now. We're showing you you are God's people. Your nationality is you're an Israelite. But what has happened to you, John, is you've become foolish. You've become sottish. You want to know why? Because America wants you to be that way, John. Read. And they have none understanding. We don't have any understanding of self. Neither do we know how to benefit our own people. You're answering a phone for what? You're in a rush for what, Ja? I'll get my mama. You gotta go get your mama. Okay, cool. That's fine. But what about your heavenly father? What about being about your father's business, Ja? Your heavenly father's business. That's what you gotta wake up to doing. Read on. They are wise to do evil. Because after you go pick up your mama, you're gonna be out doing evil somewhere else. Uh, you, you can come back with them? Good, but this is what I want you to run back to. You understand? Because what's going to happen is, y'all, the same way you were distracted here, what makes me realize or think that you won't be distracted when you go to the next place? You sure? Because what do our people get easily distracted? What's your name, bro? Say it again. Call you Ty. Do our people get easily distracted? All right. Cool. I want Leviticus 13 and 30. I'm going to show you how we've gotten you know, distracted. Because God gave us laws to instruct us to power. But in or disobeying God's laws, we actually find ourselves in a lot of weakness. So, Ja, before you leave, watch this. Read this. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Uh -huh. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight. So, a plague is a sickness, a disease. Would you agree? Read on. Hold on, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Listen. I want you to listen. Right before you, just one more minute, 60 more seconds. Listen. Deeper than the skin. See a plague. See a disease, and it goes deeper than the skin. Read. And there be in it a yellow, thin hair. Now, Ja, what do we call yellow, thin hair? Not sure? Not, you're not sure? Now, when you look at Ja's hair, I'm going to use you as an example. Because when God created us, he created 
mighty beings. He created God, little g gods upon the face of the earth. We were made in his perfection. But then what happens is because of media and the sorcery that is the technology and all these commercials that we see, we see Odell Beckham and all these superstars and influencers with blonde hair, yellow, thin hair. What does the priest pronounce yellow, thin hair or blonde hair as, Read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So, ah, where did you learn to bleach your hair so it be yellow. I ain't learned it. You didn't learn it. Somebody taught me. But I ain't teach me. Oh, hold on, hold on. So a teacher is the person who gives the lesson. The student is the one who learns it. So if somebody taught you, didn't you learn the way that they taught you? That was a long time ago. That was a long time. But you're still doing it till this day. So that's not a fresh bleaching or blonding of your hair. It's not? Okay. So at the beginning of it, did you understand God's law that says that that's unclean? Because at the end of the day, what people naturally grow blonde hair? What people naturally grow blonde hair, Tay? What, pe what people naturally grow blonde hair? Now we, we don't know. Do black people naturally grow blonde hair. Let's keep it simple. Bring it out. Do black people naturally grow blonde hair? Or do black people go to the hair salon and buy blonde hair or bleaching or bleach systems to make their hair blonde? Is that what happened? Did your hair naturally come out blonde? No, you had to create it that way. But guess what God is saying? Whoever you've been watching, whoever you've been learning from, whatever sorceries have gotten into your mind and distracted you, it is unclean. That's why when it comes to knowing your, your true nationality, you say you don't care. What's going on with our spiritual our people is spiritual wickedness. And spiritual wickedness comes out and destroys our community. You understand that? But what's happening now is you done seen a lot of thighs and a lot of skin on the street, so you don't want to stand up for God no more. It's easy to fall prey to the distractions in this world when we oppose God. Read it again. I want Jeremiah 4 and 22 again. Because you got to hear what God is saying to his children. You want to stand up and be a man? It's time to be a man according to the Bible. That's right. You understand that? Right. No, no other place in this earth will show you how to be a man outside of the Bible. But you got to make up your mind whether you're going to be committed to doing what the Bible says. That's what we got to do, man. Young man, my brother. This is what we got to do. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. Uh -huh. For my people is foolish. Why have we become foolish? Because our wisdom was beat out of us. What we have become here in 2023 as black men, black women, we've become bed winches and bucks. That's what we've become here in America. Because our mindset is gone from us. We don't want to get our mind back in line with God. God just showed us that blonde hair is unclean. But how many of your sisters have you seen wear blonde wigs or bleach their hair to make it blonde? How many? Too many. You look like you play sports. You look like you play football. How many brothers on your football team or in past years blonded half of their hair like Odell Beckham? Not a lot. Have you ever seen it happen? Do you see it in this community? Now watch this. A lot of our people don't even understand what we're seeing along these street corners. We're seeing what? Our sisters, uh, and I think that's a homosexual brother, if I'm not mistaken. Four of them. What are, what are we doing? What, what are we doing out here? What are our people doing? Spiritually, what do you see? Do you even realize that what we're teaching our daughters to do is prostitute? I want y'all to see it. Did y'all see how happy they got when they got the money out of the vehicle while they're street walking? That, did that ever click to you? It, are you seeing it? Are you, read it again. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. Uh -huh. yeah. For my people is foolish. My people are foolish. We've lost our way. Read on. They have not known me. They are sonish children. We have become stupid to God. Watch this. What, what, what is a part of that stupor? We don't know our nationality. We don't know how to carry ourselves. We don't know what things to stand up for. We don't know what things to set in order. So what has happened is become, we become stupid as a people. We look for justice, but when they ask us, well, what nation of people are you looking for justice for? 
we'll say the American people. Well, white people have been ruling America for forever and they've been taking everything that has belonged to us since we've gotten here. Right. Do y'all understand that? And you gotta see the importance of it. If you, you gotta, there's no way around it. You gotta see the importance of it or you're gonna die by not seeing it. Right. You understand that? That's right. Read on. And they have none understanding. None understanding. Your nationality, my brother right here, Tate. Let's get some understanding. What is your God-given name? Don't know, right? Now, let me help you out. What's your God-given name? Not sure. All right, here we go. Let's, let's go down the, the, the path of knowledge. Let's go through the Bible. On this side of the sign is what we were called in slavery. But on this side of the sign is what God called us from the beginning. This is a part of us getting ourselves back in line with God, learning our nationality and learning what our nation's laws really are about. What value those laws bring to us as a people, what those laws prevent us from doing, how they save our lives. So which one would you be on this sign? What is your nationality? You're an Israelite, but what tribe would you come from? Judah, Judah, okay. You go with Judah. Now, let's get how we lost that name. Get Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Bring it out. How do we lose this name? Right. Because that, that should be your question, Tate. Well, how do we lose that name, right? So we know slavery, right? But what, what had to take place spiritually? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Oh, yeah. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you hear what the Bible is saying, right? We got to listen to God. We can't be distracted. We can no longer be distracted because those distractions cause us not to follow our power. That's right. You understand that? Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. You see how you're getting distracted? You're looking at all the tail that's around you. You're looking at all, uh, whatever's going on around you instead of learning who you are. God says, hearken unto him. You understand that? I, 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 the scriptures even say I, I has to be single. You understand? So I need you to listen to this because it's going to show you who you are and your value. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So curses, great evil has come upon our people and it has overtaken us because we've gotten distracted as a people. We've lost our way, lost track of our nationality and God's laws. Jump to verse 37. This is the effect of us not listening to God. Read. Verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. We will become an astonishment. Now we become the drug dealer. We, we are the, stereo as black men, we are the stereotype for drug dealers, homosexuals. We are the stereotype for deadbeat dads. We become an astonishment unto the whole world. Anything negative, the black man stands up front and center for that stereotype. The black woman, the Hispanic woman, Native American woman, they have become the face of human sex trafficking, prostitution, being promiscuous, baby mamas, all of it. That is a curse that has come upon our people. We, inf we are the faces that influence evil when we don't listen to God. That's what we have become as a people. So what is God trying to do? God is calling unto you that you fix it. That we get our lives back in order. Young man, how old are you? 16. You, do you understand according to Willie Lynch, by the time a black male is 16 years old, he is prime for use in the white man's system. That's why it's so easy for you to be distracted because everything that you've been a part of till this day was a part of making you fit for his system. But what is happening at this same time, you're hearing how God is gonna correct all of that right now. So we all got decisions to make. I know you ain't 16, you, you ain't 16 either. But guess what? Today is the day that God is calling all of us to repent, change our ways. Y'all understand that? Read on. A proverb. A proverb. So when we get caught in the midst of our foolishness, guess what other nations do to us? They mock us. That's why we can be, oh, well, go pick yourself up by your own bootstraps. Go, go be a, a, a mammy. Go be a, a, a Sambo Coon. They got all these ways to mock us as a people because we get found disobeying our God. 
and it's been throughout generations. You don't think that your generation is just as, as uh, mocked as the older generations? Or, or have you separated yourself like Willie Nets wanted? Worse. It's worse. It's worse. That even, I'm going to go there. The street walkers of a, of a time past at least had certain decency. The street walkers of now put themselves all over the internet for their mama, daddy, children to find out everything that they're doing in the midst of wickedness. Kim Kardashian and everybody who she's influencing is now on OnlyFans to where when your children, their children grow up, they'll be able to see the midst of wickedness that their parents were in because they exposed it to the whole world. Complete foolishness has come upon our people. We got, we got 18, 19 year old girls getting pregnant, killing their own children and just to, uh, to make sufficient their lives by OnlyFans. We have become foolish. We have become a mockery to our own selves when we don't keep God's laws. But read on, read. And a byword. And a byword. This goes right back to our God-given nationality being taken away from us. They beat it out of us, but they also gave us what they wanted us to become. They beat our culture out of us and then put the culture they wanted in us. That's why we have become such hate-filled people. When it comes to us looking at one another, we actually hate one another. If, if we were to correct our brothers, when we correct our brothers and sisters, they actually look at us with hatred. But the white man will come up with a smooth word, hey, I don't think you should do that. You know what, Mr. White Man, you right. You right. We allow the white man to upload his program into our mind through his sorcery, through his distractions. But when it's time for God to show us the right way, we have a problem because the people who've given us the message actually look like us and care about us. That's the problem, but that's the part of it being beat out of us. Our God-given name being beat out of us. That shows you your purpose. Do you know what Judah means? Let's get that in Genesis. What does Judah mean? Do you know what Judah means? Do you know what Judah means? America's oh, it, it, the, uh, Judah declares the lineage of the so-called American blacks. What does Judah mean? Do you know? Or let me ask this question. What does African-American mean? Or what does black mean? Because that's what we call ourselves, right? We'll say, well, I'm black. I'm African-American. What does that mean? Who was our forefather of Africa-America? Who's the forefather? Now, I'm going to blow your mind, young man. Africa is named after a white man. America is named after a white man. Are they your fathers? Did y'all even know that? Do you, wh what year were you born, sis? 66. 66. Do you know that you were 20 years old when Jesse Jackson came up with the term of African American? So African American is a new term. So how can that be our people? Right. That's also a part of the deception that keeps us away from learning who we are as a people. When you don't know who you are as a people, you will assimilate into the overarching society. You understand that? You won't be a part of your society. You will do what the overarching society around you, those who have oppressed and beat you, held you subject to their ways, that you will become their puppet. That's what we've become here in American society when we don't know our God-given name. But the reason why we lost it is because we don't listen to our God. You understand that? What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 